Let's look at how you can use the Power BI Desktop to create a visual with two or more tables. It's really easy to connect tables together in the Power BI Desktop so that you can use them. To illustrate how to do this, I have two tables, Company Project and Project Hours. You can see these two tables here in the field list. I've also made visuals for each table here on the report canvas. The first table shows the relative priorities of each project. The second table tracks the number of hours people have worked on a project. I also have a third visual here that uses data from both tables. It shows the number of hours by project priority. This visual is currently wrong. It shows the same value in the hours column for all rows because there is no relationship between the two tables. Some BI products require you to collapse these two tables into a single table before loading it into the product. This is called flattening. You don't need to flatten tables before you use them. The step of connecting these two tables together is really easy. All we need to know is which two columns in the table should be linked, and it does the rest. In fact, most of the time, the Power BI Desktop will automatically figure out the relationship between the tables you bring in. It will find these relationships either at the time you load the tables into the model or at the time you go to use them. Most often, you won't need to do anything at all. It will just work. However, there will be some cases where we can't find the relationships, and in those cases, you'll need to create the relationship manually. It's worth noting that the relationship between these two tables in this example would automatically have been found, but I've deleted the relationship so that I can show you how to create it manually. To manually create a relationship, go to the Manage Relationships dialog here. We can see that there are no relationships. Now let's choose the new button. This brings up the Create Relationship dialog. This dialog allows me to specify the tables and the columns that are related. I'll select the Company Project table and the Hours table is automatically selected because it is the only other table in the model. If I have more than two tables in the model, I will need to specify the other table and column. You can see that the Power BI Desktop has taken a guess as to which columns are related. In this case, it is guessed correctly. If it does not guess correctly, I can easily change the column by selecting a different one, like this. The UI helps me see both the column name and the values in it. And this makes it easier to make the right choice. Once you specify the two columns, you're done. Underneath the covers, the Power BI Desktop works out all of the details about the relationship. Is it a many to one? Is it a one to one? And so forth. If you want to check those things out, you can expand the Advanced Options section. We're done here, so I'll close this dialog by selecting OK. And you can see in the Manage Relationships dialog that the relationship has been created. We're done here as well, and so we'll close this dialog by choosing Close. And with that, we can see the visual is updated with the correct values. It's really easy to create relationships and work with multiple tables in the Power BI Desktop. Thanks very much for listening.